So you go to sleep, dream about it all, wake up and solve it. Yeah. Well, no, I don't wake up and solve it. I wake up with it solved. Because you solved it in your sleep. Yeah. I do that all the time with stuff. So I was dreaming about it all night. I go, it goes through, my, go through my head with it. Just different things, different things, and different ways, and get it figured. I don't know why. You think I dream about girls or something, but no. <laughs> Like that, that press, eh? I had all the steel laying around. I had, that, most of that stuff was here for years. Your mom was always after me, all well, this junk. But I got a plan for stuff, so then I, so I built that one winter, and then she realized, oh, that's what you're doing with that stuff. It's kind of cool to be able to just make stuff out of a pile of scrap steel and that that's on the floor, eh? Or an old motor from somebody. The thing that really gets me though is like how you do the wiring. You don't see half the colors. I don't know. There's, there is a schematics on motors and everything. and I can I get close. Get close. <laughs> <laughs> Use an ohm meter. That's how I learned wiring at work. Using an ohm meter. So then I got really good with wiring because I could use the meters and that most of these guys they couldn't use none of that. I could find out shorts and wires and all this stuff you know if there's a break or whatever using an old meter putting current through it and all this i learned to do that because i was colorblind so it actually helped me and that fancy steering one of a kind for my motor on my out on my outboard you can do it manually and there's nothing out there like that too it's either one or the other you can't have both and that's a one of a kind with i didn't want, really want the shop so I could make money retiring, I kind of want it so I can make some stuff. Even, even uh, volunteer. Yeah, I don't really want to make, to have to make money out of it to do anything. It'd be nice if you have enough, then you can just do projects and help people out with stuff. It'd be fun, right? I always thought about going down to the hospital or go to somewhere that, where they can, where they know people that need some help. That, with their wheelchairs, repairs, or anything like that can help them out, right? be kind of cool. I don't know, it's been hard work, but I love making things. It's something that, going to work, I enjoyed it, but it was hard work. You know, I got to use my brain. In, sc in school, I was good with math and science, so that kind of went in with my with the welding part of it, right? So I was good at figuring things out in my head and I liked it. So being able to use my head is what I liked. So I never just welded. I always done mechanicing and all that also along with it. So I always liked the repair part of it. A lot of things I wasn't smart enough to do. I chose what I was good at, basically. There's a lot of things that I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to do. Like a, no way I could be a politician or anything like that. There's no way. I, I I stuck to with what I knew and it worked out. Some of these places to be a foreman or a manager or whatever, it wasn't for me. I like being hands-on on the floor, doing my thing. That's what I liked. Like I say, I'm, I wasn't good with being foreman and my wife is, so. <laughs> she, she's happy with telling me what to do. 